Denver's growth can be looked at through many lenses. The changing skyline can be exciting, upsetting. To me, it looks like it's the art museum. Samantha Johnston likes seeing it through lenses of another sort. This kind of glow that's happening up here. The photographic like, oh, lens. I was excited to kind of have the opportunity to look at it from a different perspective. Samantha is the executive director of the Colorado Photographic Arts Center. Well, it almost looks as though the wall is opening. She's also the curator for the Your Denver exhibition, a photography show that focuses on architecture in Denver. So close up and then that an incredible moon. You're waiting for that shot, but you're, the clock is ticking on your parking meter. You know, it's costing a lot of money to sit there to get that shot. You know, we're really about celebrating Denver's great architecture and design. Pauline Herrera Seriana is with the Denver Architecture Foundation, partners in the exhibit. I, I hope that it teaches people just the incredible beauty and richness of our architecture, its history, and how much we have to celebrate. Like this building, the shot of it won best in show. But it's the original Mile High Center by architect Ian Pei. The guy who designed the glass pyramid at the Louvre? That's so interesting. 28 photographers showing off Denver's angles and curves in one online exhibition. You no, know, it's just that click of a few buttons and you're at the website and then you can kind of scroll through and you're not, you can sit from the comfort of your own home. A tour of the city. And then in here with the lighting. And an art show. Love the way that the hotel kind of sets the stage. From the convenience of your armchair. For next, this is Ann Herbst. All right, so we talked buildings, changing skyline, and how that can be really upsetting for people. So I think we're covered for this Friday. This exhibit is running until February 28th. It's a sign that does the exact opposite of what it's asking. That and your good news next. <laughs>